Hey, Soul Family. I am uh, in Talakapaki. I don't know if you guys have been to Talakapaki in Sedona, but I'm going to do a reading. I'm doing a live reading, I suppose. Um, and I'm going down to the river. Spirit said my mermaid needed to be in the water. But I wanted to go this way because of the statues, because of the secret gardens. I'm dressed like, I'm dressed like a, I don't know, I'm, I'm not dressed for the shoes I'm wearing. Look at my shoes. I got my river shoes on. I've got my little boho bag. <laughs> but I put my river shoes on because I'm gonna go into the river. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna turn you around. Hi. Look at this. I love it in here and I thought I'd go live so that I could let you guys see how magical it is. It's really interesting, today is Sunday and it's very, very quiet. I, Everyone's gone away, which is good for me. I like it when they're gone away. <laughs> it's like uh, when uh, this whole COVID thing first started, I went to the Valley of the Cats, and uh, which is called Fay Canyon. And I came down here and I was the only person, there was no cars, not a car on the road, not one, not car in a parking lot, not one person. And it felt like I had just come out of, I don't know, somewhere else and the apocalypse had happened so uh i liked it it was quiet so i thought i would take you guys through here and show you it's pretty special in here look at ganesh rose quartz isn't that amazing oh my gosh It's like being in another world here. This is like, I don't know, Argentina came into mind and I have never been to Argentina, so I don't know why, but that's what my higher self says. So it won't take me long to walk down to the, um, to the river I go the back way. Should we go this way? Yeah, let's go this way. Ooh, this is cool. I know there's only a few of you watching right now, but later, People will look. I love that. And uh, I need to do, to do it this way because I, I can record it for YouTube. Check this out. This is the Pink Jeep Tours, the famous Pink Jeep Tours of Sedona. You want to kiss this handsome frog that's going to turn into a prince? I do. He's <laughs> <laughs> cute. He's got cobwebs. He's been sitting there a long time waiting to kiss the lady love of his life. Ooh, but look at This says your wishes are going to be fulfilled. I don't know, maybe he's been chewing on some magic mushrooms. <laughs> he's not the only one waiting. Yay! <laughs> Whenever there's water, I get excited. <laughs> oh, it feels good. Gosh, there's nobody around. This is awesome. Look at this. Isn't this neat? <laughs> I love it. Man, nobody open. Isn't that bizarre? This whole thing's getting real old for me. All right. I'll speed it up. Bella. Beautiful. Ooh. I never know which way to go. I asked if I should just skip it and go down to the river right away and not go through here, and I heard no. So somebody needs to see this. Ooh, look how beautiful. God, the gardening here is amazing. I love it. Make a wish, Odin. Hmm, I'm not quite sure. Oh, you're blowing some pipes. I'm like, what are you chewing on your fingers? Shops and galleries. Gosh, I don't know if I've, I don't wanna go where that guy is. I'll go here. I climbed up on top of this ferry once. Took a picture. <laughs> Make a wish. 
She's making a wish. Make a wish. <sighs> These trees are amazing. The sycamore, they hold so much water that no matter what the temperature, they're always cold. They're amazing. Okay, let's see. Should I take a peek in here really quick before we run down to the river? Oh, that guy's in there anyway. <laughs> Me always trying to avoid men. <laughs> oh, this little guy's cute. That's really cool. That's new. That's how I feel, the look on her face, right? She's just like, I love it. I love it. Ooh, check this out. Okay, I haven't been in here for a while. This is why Spirit said do it. Natural wonders, check this out. Chinese Tyrannosaurus Rex. Dang. Very cool. Okay, we're going down to the river. Down to the river. In here, when I first came here a thousand years ago, they had the streets all lined up with uh, art and you got to do your, your own, you, everybody got to go up and paint on the, on the art pieces that were there and then they put it up somewhere. It's like on the wall, wherever it is. I painted my twins initials and mine and a prayer, that's cool. I don't know where the hell it is. How cool is that? I'm totally into stuff like that. <laughs> I love the fact that the clothes are the only thing in color. Oh, this is the bomb to Mexican food in here. I might come here and have a virgin pina colada afterwards. I think I will. I think I will. What are you saying? What a beautiful place. Yeah, isn't it? It's totally cool. Talakapaki. I'm not saying it right, no doubt. That guy's watching me. Um, I don't know why that makes me so nervous. <laughs> um, I kind of want to run in there to show you in there, but... Spirit said to get going. So if you go through, there's all kinds of what we just watched. Look at that. The chai place up there, the bomb, the bomb chai. I almost worked, oh, it's not there anymore. There was a clothing store here when I first came to here a thousand years ago. Oh, I do have to show you the, chi the steeple right there, look. Isn't that pretty? I mean, maybe you guys can, you wanna take pictures. See, this is what's so cool about Sedona. See how beautiful this looks and it looks, you know, like it's been gardened, right? And it's been set here. These are freaking just everywhere in the desert. I love the colors. Spirituality and healing and abundance and love. Turquoise, purple. Love it. Okay. Off we go. Now, I've got, I mean, look at the, I love how the trees, they didn't take the trees out, right? They know how important they are. Um... This is a whole entire garden filled of, with wind chimes. Not wind chimes, like wind, I don't know what you call them. Wind wheels, windmills, but they're all different kinds. Look, we're the only ones here. I'll let you guys take a peek. Aren't they cool? They sell them, but these are all on display just for everyone to enjoy. I wanna go through here and get their energy. Ooh, I like the fish. Oh, I love the marble. Look at the frog right there. Hi, and he's smiling. The butterfly. God, this is pretty. Agate. I heard agate. Okay. Hey, fishies. Fishy winkles. All right. Good, I'm glad nobody's here because I don't take a path. I make my own and I kind of blaze through and uh, do it kind of cheeky. Oh God, that feels amazing. It's actually not super killer hot today because we've had a lot of cloud coverage and uh, it's kept things a little bit cool. Not to mention it's probably like, I don't know, what the hell time is it, 6.30? No idea. So, I go. If you were a normal human, you probably would go through the parking lot. <laughs> but I go here. Oh, God. I'm going to get snaggled. Oh, I, I never saw that guy before. 
There's a horse. At first I thought he was a sea serpent. Then he became a horse. Oh God. See right there? That's him. I don't know why I insist on going this way. See? I'm literally pulling my skirt right off my body. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Oh, flying crickets. Okay. Oh, look at him. Okay, Lizard says, hold on to your dreams. You deserve to see them fulfilled. They're sound and valid. Hi, you're not that scared of me, are you? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> My path is not very big. Okay. This is how she ends up getting poison oak a lot. <laughs> okay. And my skirt is so long now without, oh my gosh, I've got stickers all in my skirt because I'm wearing my water shoes instead of my regular high shoes that I was wearing. Okay. I've known all day I was gonna do this. I just, I just knew. I was coming here and I changed and then I thought no in Little House in the Prairie Laura Ingalls she always wore a dress right so you do this you pull it up and you hike through the water <laughs> like this okay I love the colors I've been asking people to go to West Fork Trail and nobody's interested in hiking with me. So, she goes alone. Okay. Actually, this is a really good time for you guys to be here with me because of the fact that the sun is not going to be reflecting on the water. I just saw a fish jump up. So this is Oak Creek Canyon. Look at all the little caves over there where the beavers and the otters and whoever wants to live there lives. I don't know if they have beavers and otters here. It's probably too freaking hot. They've got hammocks up there for people to lay in and just look up at the, at the trees. It's beautiful. So this is called, oh, I can't remember the name of this resort, but it's open for all of us to enjoy. My friend Joseph White Wolf does a lot of his ceremonies down here. Look at this place. This has got to be a resort. I could handle that. I said I wanted a house on the river. That'll work. <laughs> Look at that. That works. Okay. All right, people are going down the river, but they don't know what I discovered. So I'm going to take you... How fun is that, see? That's what we did when we were little kids. When I grew up in Canada, on the way to school, that's what we had, a river. Seymour River we had to cross. There were two bridges, of course, that we were supposed to go over, but that's what we did instead. And I arrived at school every day, soaking wet. And I got sent into the cloakroom. So my desk was generally in the cloakroom and it was generally wet. Teacher wasn't impressed with me. I think that was in grade one. And I think they just gave up trying to tell me not to do it. They figured she's, she's gonna do it, so we'll just put her desk in the cloakroom. Not to mention I had a hard time functioning in a room where I had to sit and just be quiet and, and not look outside. I was bored with what the teacher had to show. Oh, how funny. Okay, you want that rock? You can have it. Isn't that funny? I went up close. This is a damselfly, actually. And then it goes right back. She goes right back. It's just like me. I'm going to go right back to where I want to go. You can do whatever the hell you want. But I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> okay, so this is where we're going down. Gosh, I can't get over this. I, I have a video, you guys, of, of the last time I was here. I think I'll, I'll cut up and over on the side. But, I mean, there's no freaking water. Oh, my gosh. There was a blue pool. I just said I'll cut up on the other side, and what do I do? I go this way. Because <laughs> I have to go where the water is. Oh, my gosh. It's just so, so dry. I 
I said that because it was faster. I should just listen to myself. I'm just anxious to get down to the water. We're gonna do a reading down here. So I should give you items to choose from. How about the, the trees, the gnarled trees, the river, Oak Creek Canyon. Gosh, you guys are gonna have to remind me because I'll forget the damselflies and the waterfall. Hopefully the waterfall's still moving because damn, there's no freaking water here. Wow, makes me sad. <laughs> Where's all my water gone? Evaporated into the heat. <sighs> Left, okay. Look at the colors, aren't they pretty? I can hear the waterfall. Maybe I'm hearing, I can hear the water pouring somewhere. Oh God, I wonder if they have huckleberries in there. That's what I lived on as a little kid. Blackberries and huckleberries we'd pick in the forest. Ooh, our first feather. It's a dove feather. Nice. Soulmate connection, peace, calm. I'm thinking something in my head and my, and my mouth won't let me speak it. It's so bizarre. Like I'm saying it out loud in my head and my mouth is not saying an olive branch. It talks about extending an olive branch. Why would that not come out of my mouth? <sighs> Am I being stubborn in some way? No. I'm generally always the one who offers the olive branch. Yay! <laughs> oh, the waterfall is pretty small. Okay. It's brighter over here, which is cool. Ah! <laughs> Look at the patterns on the trees. I had trees like this in Wisconsin. So cool. Those look like wishbones, right? Don't they? My grandma used to give us the wishbones. We'd fight over them. Make a wish. We keep getting that message to make a wish. Okay, this is me. This is how high things get. You don't believe me, but the river gets as high as the things that are tied up. When you see the water here, this is how it floods through. It's crazy. Okay. Now, it's private property up just a little bit ahead, but not before we get to the waterfall. <laughs> oh my gosh, am I going in? Yes? Oh wow. I don't wanna get my deck wet. All right, let me put my deck down somewhere. Okay. This is why I wore my water shoes. I'm really hot actually, so, woo! Oh, okay, how are we gonna do this? I usually go in behind it. No, I'm gonna get wet! <laughs> Where's Uncle Phil? Uncle Phil, I found a waterfall. No! <laughs> ah! Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's sit. I have to stay long enough to dry my skirt off, which is completely soaking wet now. We'll sit facing that direction. How about that? Down here. By Lilliput Lane, where all the fairies hang out. Okay. So, our items to choose from. The canyon, Oak Creek Canyon. The, what did I say? Oh gosh, see the waterfall. Hi, Uncle Phil. I was just freaking in a waterfall. Hold on, Uncle Phil just showed up. Wait, 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 look. <laughs> I was just in a waterfall. Okay, the waterfall's one, the canyon's one, right? It's not a huge waterfall. It's not Weequeoc Falls, but it's a freaking little fall. I had to come in it. I just said, Uncle Phil. Okay, hold on. Maybe if I go on the other side. <laughs> oh God, 
I usually sit right there, but I'll get so wet. I am wearing a hat. I am now truly soaked. Okay. Okay, what were the items to choose from, you guys? You gotta help me out here. One was the falls, one was the canyon. One was, what? Did I say the rocks? <laughs> it's pretty in here. Uncle Phil, you gotta go back. See, this is why I did this, because I'm gonna go back and have it go, um, I'll record it and send it on to YouTube so everybody that didn't get to see it from the beginning gets to see it. Ooh, the little froglets are talking. Can you hear them? Okay. I don't remember, and if you guys can't tell me, I'm gonna have to change our items to choose from. So, the waterfall, Oak Creek Canyon. The damselfly and the boho purse, which on it is, I don't know, there's all kinds of stuff on it. Birds, I can't remember what the other ones were. Okay, so I'm going to turn you around and I'm gonna, which is prettier, this way? Oh, is my finger over the thing? Sorry. I don't know which way to turn. Okay. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the damselfly, I guess we're starting with the damselfly. We're working with the saints and angels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the damselfly, woo, she flew out right away. Wow. Love. Love. The answer is love. The answer you're seeking is love. So it doesn't have to be a lover, right? Yellow is the color of friendship. I'm getting, if you want a friend, be a friend. If you want love in your life, be loving. Practice love. Love is always the answer, right? It's always the answer to every question. And then you think about spirit. Spirit loves us. They gave us this for free, right? Everything, every aspect of all of this is, is an act of love. So spirit says that's the answer to your question. It's just, it's love. That's all that exists. So if you focus on that, you'll get the results that you're seeking. And so another message is, Oftentimes we struggle to do things on our own. I'm underneath here and it's like hard to see you guys. Um, and spirit says, don't, don't struggle because love is all around us. Spirit is all around us and they wanna help. So ask, ask for help. I gotta tell you guys something really amazing. Uh, my daughter believes that she's an atheist, right? She believes that she is, she's not, but she believes she is. And she has, her and her husband have a business, it's Jet Auto Glass, and they have to send a, an ETA to their clients about when they're gonna be there, right? Estimated time of, of, of your technician showing up are, and she has been consistently getting every single day for weeks and weeks on end. When they go to look at the time, how far out they are, it's 18 minutes, every single time. And she goes, mom, she's starting to get freaked out. So I, and, and her husband is Jewish. So she looked up uh, and she said in the cabal, or I don't know if it's the cabal, but in the Jewish tradition, 18 is a very important um, number. And I said, 18 in angel numbers says that you are being helped by an angel financially. Financial success, you're being brought through a help by an angel that loves you. And I said, when, when Nat Graham died and Uncle Greg stole the, my inheritance, stole the house, took everything, he, she said, don't take your brother to court, I'll take care of you. And my concern wasn't just for myself, it was for my daughter because the house that my mother had, she says, this is all I have to leave you is the house. And he did all of that. And I was, and, and my daughter was gonna rent it. She was gonna be there. It was so that my daughter and my grandson would have a safe place to be. So I was really upset and I said, I don't know what to do. And she came to me in a dream and she said, don't take your brother to court. I will take care of you. I will see that Lisi is taken care of financially. Now, her husband, Jacob, his papa, his grandfather died recently. And Jacob is the only member of his family that freaking works. All the other ones live off, off, lived off of him and off the family money. And he was so proud of him. But when he died, he didn't leave money to Jacob. <laughs> he left money to everyone else because he said they, weren't, they couldn't take care of themselves and he knew Jacob would always work. But the message is 18, over and over and over again, there's an angel that is helping you financially. And I said, Lisi, it's extremely clear that Nat Grandma is taking care of you and Jacob's Papa is taking care of him. 
And she's, she kept pushing it away. I, you know I don't believe in that. You know I don't believe in that. I believe in, you know, aliens, but Jacob and I believe in aliens. And as I said that, I saw a dragonfly fly over my head. And I said, notice, Lisey, my license plate says E.T. Angel. I said, I'm an E.T. I come from Lyra. I'm, I come from the land of the cats. And a lot of people think it's crazy. And I don't care. I came here. I was sent here with a purpose to help mankind. And I didn't even know what my purpose was until I awakened. And I said, but I'm telling you, your grandmother is helping you financially. And Jacob's papa is helping him financially. And if they have to give you the number 18 every single day for the rest of your life so that you know that they're working with you, they will. And I said, if you start to see now the number 333, you will know for a fact that it's them, whether you want to argue it or not, because that means that ascended masters are working with you. And an ascended master is your grandma. An ascended master is his papa. So that was pretty cool. I lucked into a steady gig at Harbor Ridge Winery in Egg Harbor. <laughs> Gary and Phil, have, how's your band doing? Doing any gigs? <laughs> oh my God, somebody else is asking me for a private reading, so I'll move forward. Okay. That was the first message. Second message, it must be such a drag in Sturgeon Bay or in the area that all of the music has come to a freaking halt. Correct for neutrality, for those who chose the waterfall, and I did, correct for neutrality on all levels, for those who chose the waterfall. Ooh, that was obvious. Okay, believe. <laughs> okay. You have to believe, right? My daughter's like, nope, I don't believe in, in angels. And I'm like, well, if you believe in ETs, and she goes, well, I don't know, everybody thinks I'm weird because I believe in ETs. And I said, well, if you want to call your grandma an ET, I'm sure my grandson calls me an ET. But right now, whatever the situation is in your life, Spirit says to improve the situation, you need to believe. You have to believe. You have to have faith in miracles. You've got to believe that God and your higher self and your heavenly angels and your team are working with you. You have to believe that there's goodness in people, that they're not all shit, <laughs> that there's inherent good in everyone. So you have to believe in yourself. Whatever it is that's going on right now, have faith in yourself to bring it about. Have faith in yourself that yes, you can do it. Have, believe in yourself, have self-confidence, have belief in, in the one in your, in your life. You have to trust, you have to have faith and you've gotta believe. Your, your body believes what you tell it as well, right? You can tell your body negative things, which we do all day long, every single day. We gotta really actively work at not saying negative things because our body believes what it is that we are, told, we are telling it, right? So if you are, believe that you're qualified, believe that you're gonna get the job, believe that you're, the love of your life is about to show up, believe that the finances are coming, believe it, it is, and then say thank you like it's already here. Belief is extremely powerful. Self-doubt, and negativity and fear are also very powerful, but only if you give it your power, right? So let's flip it. And we turn around and we look at the color. The color is yellow, which is the color of the sun. The sun brings everything to life, right? Believe it. Believe it to succeed. Okay. Correct for neutrality on all of us. For those who chose, um, what do we have? We have the waterfall we did. We have... Oak Creek Canyon, we had the damselfly. So Oak Creek Canyon, and if I already did Oak Creek Canyon, the damselfly, but I think I did the damselfly. So a learning experience. What you're going through right now is a learning experience. Interesting, the dove feather is what we had show up first, right? Well, she's holding a dove in her hand. Hmm. So be gentle on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're going through a learning experience. This situation, whatever it is, it's giving you the opportunity to learn something pretty important in your life. So, instead of looking at the experience as a disaster or a, a block or a problem, recognize that it's something that you're gonna learn from, something that you're gonna grow from. You're gonna use the qualities that you have and it's going to, it's going to fine tune the qualities that you have. So if we're looking at the dove, you gotta think about what does a dove represent, right? Patience, forgiveness, strength, purity. The dove shines very bright, so do those wings. So these are all the things that you're going to do. So if there's anything right now in this situation that seems familiar, like, okay, I've been here before. <laughs> We've done this a million times. Why have you, right? What is it that you're supposed to be picking up? What is it that you're maybe not clicking in on 
you don't want to keep learning the same lesson again and again, right? Doing the same thing again and again with a different, and expecting a different result, it's not going to happen. I'm looking at this. Look at the light shining right there on those leaves. They're just glowing. We just got a little bit of the setting sun and it's just peeking on the trees. It's so freaking beautiful. So are the things that you're tired of learning and you're ready to let go of? So once you figure out what the blessing is, you don't, you don't have to repeat it again. Ooh, check this out, check this out. Watch what he's doing. See that dragonfly? He's kicking the water up. Isn't that cool? Look what he's doing. He's drinking. Are you drinking or are you dropping your eggs in the water? Because he's dropping down just the tail end. That's so freaking cool. That's so cool. Dragonfly says, hold on to your dreams. Dragonfly says, your dreams are sound and valid and you deserve to see them fulfilled. I love that. The damselfly we already had and now we have the dragonfly. Hmm. So, Spirit says, once you've figured out what the blessing is and what the lesson is, you won't have to do it again. You'll learn something valuable. You will have grown and you'll feel free. So right now, Spirit says, there's a guardian angel that's working with you. And they're, what the guardian angel is doing is it's helping you see the benefit of the situation, trying to see it in a positive light, trying to make you I, help you identify the lessons that you need to learn, right? So that you can heal, whatever it is. If there's issues that you have, ask Spirit to help you. Ask Spirit to help you be gentle with yourself, with others. Help Spirit, ask Spirit to help you see the light in the situation. Look at that. The light's following us. I like it. I like it. The guardian angel. Well, my twin soul is my guardian angel. We all have twin souls, whether we have them here in the physical world or not. If you have one in the physical world, it's this is who's guiding you in, in their highest self. But if you don't have a twin soul relationship on this planet, your twin is the one that guides you in spirit. So there is a guardian angel. Okay. I just want to see who's up. Love and light. Thank you. This hat is everything. <laughs> this hat is, is my uh, Laura Ingalls hat. <laughs> Look where I'm at, Serenity. Isn't it gorgeous? Oops, hold on. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? It's so beautiful. The frogs are starting to sing and the crickets. Oh, are they the cicadas maybe? We haven't had the cicadas yet, which is really weird. Okay, I think we've done the damselfly, we've done the waterfall, we've done Oak Creek Canyon, and now we're gonna do the boho bag. For those who chose the boho bag, isn't this cool? My friend gave it to me. Somebody gave it to her and she goes, it's so not my scene. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so my scene. Whoops, check it out. It's such a hippie bag. <laughs> okay, for those who chose the boho bag, correct for neutrality on all levels. And then I gotta let you guys go. And uh, I got a private reading. I wonder if we'll do it right here. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the boho bag. For those who chose the boho bag. Oh my, not that many. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the boho bag. I'm seeing my Uncle Phil right now. They're literally showing me my Uncle Phil. I'll show you him in a second. That's not the card we're going to get, I don't think, but let me just show you him. That's my Uncle Phil. He's a sweetheart. This is actually St. Nicholas, and my Uncle Phil looks like Santa Claus, and he has that energy, that giving, loving energy. Everybody loves him. Everybody loves him. P.S. He's been in the hospital recently, and he could all use your help, your love and healing. So I'm asking you to all send your love and healing to Uncle Phil and ask that he is brought right back up to snuff and that he gets the energy so he can get out and get some exercise <laughs> and that he gets to yoga. Thank you for helping him. Okay, our message is, you are a leader, Joan of Arc. Hell yeah. Okay, so go for it. People are watching you. Check this out, the waterfall right here and the eclipse sun. We are in the eclipse energy right now. I don't know if you guys know that, but endings and, and sudden shifts and changes are happening. That's an eclipse energy. Makes me think of the song Geronimo. I found my friend at the curtains of the waterfall. And this looks like there's smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And she's going into the battle. 
She's got her feet in the water though. Which means I think I'm supposed to put my feet in the water. That's why I wore these shoes. Why didn't I do that before? I mean, I'm soaking wet everywhere else, but I might as well have my feet in the water. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. So Joan of Arc, imagine your feet in the water right now. You are a leader. So people are looking up to you. Speak your truth. Move forward. You came here with a purpose. And your purpose is to lead. Your purpose is to get out there in the front. Your leadership qualities and your leadership skills are, are really important right now. So whatever this is in regards to, you probably know what this is in regards to. You've got to be the leader. Follow the leader. Right? Follow the leader. Whatever it is in the situation, you should know what your situation is in regards to. You just have the qualities that are inspiring others right now. Even if you don't think so, because you do. And Spirit's basically saying, trust it. This card is telling you right now, you have been selected. <laughs> you have been selected to be a leader. So go for it because people follow your example, right? Joan of Arc, think about Joan of Arc. Well, you may not think of yourself as, as a Joan of Arc, but you are. You don't have to be somebody running with a sword. You don't have to be somebody that runs into the battle lines. You can be like my Uncle Phil, super sweet, super kind and generous. I got to tell you, I've never heard him say anything negative about anybody in my entire life. And if that's not a leader, I don't know what is, right? Lead by love. And a leader serves best by being an example and a role model he's absolutely a role model to me so every day spirit says live so that other people can admire your integrity and the strength of character that you have this one is wearing white which means innocence and purity and the the, the rope that's trailing behind is major passion following their passion she carries a sword but she's not stabbing anyone with a sword she's got it to shield and protect herself but she leads with love and on the receptor at the top of the sword, there's ruby red. Ruby is also love and passion. She's willing to go to the edge for her passion. She's willing to go to the edge for her love. I just got bit by a mosquito, and I don't want to be down here being eaten alive. So we're going to move quickly. <laughs> no mosquitoes. No energy suckers. Uh-uh. Okay. What else is there that Joan of Arc, let me think. Well... Joan of Arc was very young. She was not an adult. So if you're thinking to yourself, I don't have the qualifications to be a leader. I don't have the skills to be a leader. This was a child. She was a teenager and she was a leader and she was an example. She did what was passionate to her. She, she followed with her passion. She didn't think about it. She just did it, right? She stood up for her cause. It's like me with spirit. I believe in them 3000%. 150 million percent, I believe, in spirit. When spirit tells me to do something, I do it. No questions asked, right? They tell you to take a leap of faith. You don't even look down. This one's taking a leap of faith. This one is following her faith. She's carrying a sword. So she's a peaceful warrior, but she carries a big fucking stick, right? She knows she's going to defend herself if she has to, but she would rather lead with love. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. You guys have got so many questions and I'm not seeing them. My finger kind of swiped them away. Oh my, hi, 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 hey you. <laughs> okay, anything else before we wrap this up and we head on back so I can do my other reading? Um, she was sold as a slave. She was tried, she was convicted and she was burned to death. And a lot of us are, I was, I've been burned at a stake many times in past lives and in this life. People, you know, thinking I'm crazy. Uh, I don't know why she does the things that she does. She's a nut. And now it's interesting that a lot of the people who thought I was crazy before are actually calling me and asking me for readings because I follow spirit, right? I, I listen to spirit and it always pays off. Eventually you will be shown. And sometimes you have to go through trials and tribulations. And sometimes people look down at you and you've got to get to the place where it doesn't bother you. You've got to have such a strength of conviction that you follow your path, period. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. I'm, uh, I'm going to have to hop, skip, and a jump through here. I'll show you where we're at. Because it's I'm getting eaten alive. I can't stand mosquito bites. And I've got such sweet skin that 
I'm telling you. God, look how pretty. Look how pretty. Oh, look, look, look. I just love it here. That when I get bit, I have huge, huge welts. And <laughs> they last for days. I'm going to be wearing skirts for a while, it looks like, to cover up my mosquito bite welts. Look at the color of the moss, Uncle Phil. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can't, I guess. I was going to say, I wonder if I could put those in my beta tank, that, that moss. Moss is really cleansing. Oh, I could, I could put it in my duck pond. See, this is what I would do. I would come down to the, to the creeks like this, and I would pick up little pieces of, of moss like this. Right, and I would put that in my pond and then I would grow the little plants from here and then I would go get goldfish and they had the most amazing environment. Their own little ecosystem, it was beautiful. Okay, I gotta run through. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I'll talk to you soon, I'm gonna save this. I love you, love you, Uncle Phil. Miss you, bye.